Hey guys, I'm back. Um, I finished uh, another Faust, um, so I'm going to do my book review on that. I have to say I'm really excited about it. Um, I really, really enjoyed the book, um, but we're going to start with the cover of it. Um, this, of course, is what drew me to the book, uh, what made me notice the book, and what made me buy the book, because, of course, I'm a cover whore. Um, but yeah, it just, it's awesome. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Look at that. Just look at them. They're just... And this is, of course, raised a little bit. The staircase they're on and the little moths and stuff. And the moths do play a part in the story, which you'll find out towards the middle. Um, this is just so awesome. And uh, I love the red on the inside. Yeah. So this book... When I first started it, um, how many pages did I get through? Like 30 or something. I don't know if it was because I was tired that night, but I really wasn't into it. But I pushed myself, and I'm glad I did because I really, really ended up liking the book, especially when I started realizing what was going on. There's five teenagers, and they all live with this lady that they call it their governess. And they were told that she adopted them. So they all believe they were adopted at the age of 10. And of course, every, they still kind of have questions about it. You know, like, why were they all adopted at the age of 10 and why are they all the same age and stuff? But, um, but all of them have a special gift that they actually got from the governess. Um, it's actually not like a material gift. It's a gift like something they can do. And, um, I don't know why they didn't think that was strange. Um, one of the characters later on in the book said they just thought she was a witch. So, yeah, I don't know. But basically what happens is um, these teenagers um, really want something. They want something really badly in their lives. And they say they'll do anything for it. And, you know, in each of their lives, here comes this lady. And it's her name is... Um, they call her uh, Vileroy, V-I-L-E-R-O-Y, Vileroy, I believe is how you pronounce it. Um, and she tells them that she will give them anything they want. Um, and I don't know exactly how she words it to them, but basically they sell their soul to her. Um, and she gives them the thing that they wanted. Um, and they have to go live with her. Um three of the teenagers follow through with it and you know they still want it um and then actually two of the two of the characters are twins um and the one twin wants something really bad and the other twin uh doesn't know anything about it and the only reason she got pulled into it is because the one twin whose name is bell um wanted her sister which is biche um in the deal, like Beachy had to come with. So, um, so Beachy grew up not knowing that her sister Belle sold her soul so she would be beautiful. That's what she wanted. She wanted to be beautiful. Um, and the other teenager that changed his mind was Christian. Um, he actually wanted something really bad. He grew up poor and he really wanted something really bad. Um, he wanted to, to be famous. He wanted to never have to worry about money again. And so when she came to him, Val, Valroy came to him, of course he agreed to it. Um, but when he got to the house where the other teenagers were, he realized that this is something much more serious and what did he get himself into. And he decided that he did not want this anymore. Um, but she kept him because she needed his soul. Um, so he ended up not knowing everything that was going on because um, she didn't disclose anything else to him because he didn't want to do this anymore but he had to stay with her um, the other three teenagers that decided to keep going along with it was Victoria um, and Victoria's gift was she was able to read minds she wanted to be the president she wanted to be the highest you could be I mean anywhere um, so her gift was that she was able to read minds and if you can read somebody's mind then you can beat them you know you can you know everything um 
you would know what they plan on doing. Um, you just, like, for example, she was on the debate team. Well, of course, she was able to debate everything and, and that because she knew what the other person was going to say before they said it. Um, then there was a Valentin. Um, he uh, could turn back time. His gift was that he was able to turn back time. So he was able to redo things over and over and over again um, until they turned out to his liking. Um, and then there was, oh, and then like I said, Belle. And she wanted to be beautiful. So she actually um, ended up growing taller. She got long blonde hair and just a gorgeous face. Did not look anything like her twin sister, of course, now. Um, so the three that wanted to keep going on with, along with this got everything that they wanted, got their heart's desire, you know. Um, and then the other two, Biche and Christian, um, they also kind of got what they wanted. Um, Christian was able to steal things. Um, if he touched you, he would get your talent or he would get, you know, your brains or, you know, what have you. And they would go into him. Um, example, he was playing golf and the person he was playing golf with, of course, was really good. And so he went and patted him on the back and all the guy's talents went into him. And so now Christian was doing awesome at golf. Um, and then, like I said, BJ... Beach was able to stop time, um, and she was able to stay in her own her own world. Um, she didn't talk to people. She liked to just read her books and be by herself. And so she would stop time just so it was completely quiet. Um, everything would stop except for her. And um, she always was translating languages. And um, that'll come in the end of you know how that plays into the story. But she was constantly translating languages. Um, so that was going on, and um, which I thought that was interesting too. It was like each chapter was about you know a different character and that, so you really got to know the characters, and I really liked that. Um, towards the end of the story, things start to go wrong. Then, though, um, Vileroy has her own agenda, and she's trying to teach them lessons. Um, if the teenagers go against her or don't want to do something she says. Um, she will do something to them. Um, so it's, you kind of, you, you learn a lesson from the book, you know, be careful what you wish for, basically, um, because things may not go as you plan. And all these characters learned a valuable lesson um, on why you should really be careful what you wish for. And I don't want to say what happened to them, but something happens to each of them. Um, regarding their gifts and, you know, regarding, you know, how much they're willing to sacrifice or how much they have sacrificed to get it, to get, um, where they are. And yeah, it's a really good book. Um, I give it four stars out of five and there's actually another one. I think it just came out. I don't know if it's a second one or if it's a companion novel. Um, I have to look that up, but, um, I'm actually glad that I read it. I was going in alphabetical order, and it was the first one. So, um, I'm sorry if my review is, like, jumbled, and I know I'm saying a lot of ums. I know I am. Uh, there I go again. <laughs> um, but it's just, each character has their own story. Each character has their own gift. And each character, like I said, learns. Um... Yeah, but yeah, you got to pick it up and read it. Another Faust, Daniel and Dinah Nayeri. Now it's talking about them going to a school too in here. I just when I seen the back of it holding up to you, it talks about them going to the elite Marlowe School. And yeah, there's instances and things that happen to them in this school, and that um, how they use their gifts at the school and that. But I think that the main thing, like I said, is uh, the main story, the main thing that I got out of it, um, the thing that really popped out at me was just what you wish for can really turn around and bite you. So, yeah. Anyway, that's my review on another Faust. Have a good one, guys. Bye.